गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर स्टडिंग इंग्लिश ऑफ एट्स कम्युनिकेट विद कैम्ब्रिज द पोस्टिंग डेट ऑफ दिस मई इलेवन सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश स्टैंडर्ड एट एंड द लेसन नंबर वी आर डूइंग द यूनिट वन बेसिकली एंड द टॉपिक इज लिविंग इन हारमोनी लेक्चर नंबर वन सो लेट्स गो अहेड अडियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट कंटेंट बेसिकली let me make you aware first the chapters we have with us these are in units unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 <coughs> like this unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 like this let's go to unit 1 let uh, what we uh, find the chapters are divided in units <coughs> and each unit has its unique identity for example we have unit 1 and its first title is living in harmony right in unit 1 we have three chapters chapter 1 three questions chapter 2 children of india chapter 3 nature that's poem basically right so unit wise we are going to study before studying the chapters or the lessons we need to find out what does it mean by the unit titles so let's read living in harmony what does it mean by what does Uh, author say about this right everyone so let's see living in harmony unit 1 living in harmony so this is the title of this unit 1 let's go to introduction dear uh, children author says he who lives in harmony with himself he who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe right this is a quotation basically a small quote based on this quote author is asking you a question what do you think this quote means means what is the meaning of this quote explain in a few lines so dear children i am explaining you this uh, line wise he who lives in harmony with himself a person who is at peace with himself harmony means peace basically if a person who is at peace with himself lives in harmony with the universe right lives in harmony with the universe means will always be at peace with the world once again i am repeating the line a person who is at peace with himself will always be at peace with the world dear children if he he means the one who lives in harmony can control his outflow of his emotions and feelings will be happy with what he has in his life so what we need to see if he has anything or whatever he has and he feels happy there is nothing in this world that can stop him from being peaceful that's the meaning of this quotation so i hope you have understood now let's go to the next question next question is draw a poster to show people living in harmony with each other uh, in answer to this question dear children you will have to uh, draw a poster make a small uh, drawing painting and show in the painting that people are living in harmony means in a peaceful environment with like harmony right and the next one is complete this graphic organizer right uh, organizer basically so we have this graphic living with others living with others so we have fairness mindedness fair mindedness humility humility and this one is blank this one is blank and this one is self control so what you have to do based on these three points you have to fill here anything and anything living with others the most important points which are used in particular life we are living like living with others in harmony or like that will be totally dependent upon your uh, thinking what you think when you live with others and how you apply the things in your life so that goes students we have understood the first unit is about living in harmony that means 
वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ फ्यू पॉइंट्स और मे बी अ स्टोरी बाय प्रोज और मे बी बाय पोएम लाइक लिविंग इन हारमनी वट डज इट मीन बाय सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल कंटिन्यू विद द फर्स्ट चैप्टर थैंक यू वेरी मच